So all we're gonna need for this cake is, this isn't even a recipe, it's just a method of how to put it together. Some fruit of your choice. Uh, you can use anything you like. Today I'm gonna use blackberries, raspberries, peaches. My mom used to use strawberries and bananas. I'm gonna use two cakes because I wanna make it super duper tall. So here we go. First thing we're gonna do is start by peeling our peaches because they have to macerate. Now my little mama Bonnie would make this cake every year for my brother David for his birthday in March. It was his favorite cake. And of course my mom made her angel food cake from scratch. I will never forget what that was like when she would bake it in that tube pan and then she would turn it upside down to rest over a Coke bottle while she moved to the next steps. Dang it, I sure do miss that, Bonnie. Mm. I'm gonna just slice them right off the pit. Now, I don't want real big chunks of peach because this is a delicate cake. So I'm gonna go through and make any of these big clunky pieces just a little bit smaller. Y'all, one of my favorite childhood memories, which I'm including in the book I'm still fine tuning, is about peaches. And it was when we lived in this old abandoned storehouse that my dad rented for us. It was out in the country in Wisconsin. And we had eight kids and he never had any money. And one day he walked in the big front double doors of the storehouse with his big old brown arms wrapped around a bushel basket. And then he went out and he brought in another bushel basket. Well, it was full of peaches that he had bought from a little man down the way. And I think they were probably almost free, probably a little bit of nothing because they were pretty overripe and about to turn mushy. And my mom spent the next couple of days in front of the stove and the sink, canning her little heart out. She made spiced peaches and sliced peaches and peach jelly. And oh my gosh, I will never forget what the walls of that old storehouse smelled like that summer. Ugh. Now, depending on how sweet your peaches are, you'll wanna take a little bit of sugar. If you have a super sweet peach, you won't need much. I'm gonna use about a quarter of a cup of sugar. And then I just wanna stir that up. Set it aside at room temperature. And before you know it, that'll have a beautiful little peach juice. Isn't there just something about the smell of peaches that reminds you of summer? We're at the tail end of summer and it was hard to find good ones, but oh my goodness, they still smell wonderful and they just remind me of sunshine. Now I have blackberries that are huge. Look at this. Those are gonna be bigger than I want. I want every bite of cake to have a little bit of each fruit. So if you have one huge, great big blackberry in there, that's all you're going to get. So I want the berries to be about the same size as the little peach bites I've made. And I actually picked up some raspberries that are kind of on the small side. Look at these. They're kind of tiny. So that's perfect. The reason I'm not putting my blackberries in at the beginning with the peaches while they're macerating is because they will ooze a little bit of their blackberry juice. I'm just afraid it'll make all the peach juice look kind of gray. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be real appetizing. So what I'll do is just wait and I'll fold in my blackberries at the last minute. I did rinse these first in the little plastic tub. I just run water through them, run water through the box that's got holes in it. And then I close the lid, shake the berries with the water in it, and then drain the water out. Go from there. Same with my little razzies. Now my raspberries and my blackberries are a little damp because I washed them. So I'm gonna just drain them on a little piece of paper towel on my counter until I'm ready to add that to my little peaches. You'll need a good serrated knife. And we want four layers. So we're gonna cut each cake in two. Now, if you just wanna make one cake, just use half as much of everything as I'm using here. Very simple. So my peaches are macerating. They've only been in here a few minutes and they've already got quite a lot of, of juice. 
I'm gonna go ahead now and make my heavy whipped cream topping. You can pretty much count on every cup of heavy cream making two cups of whipped cream. So I'm using 16 ounce bottles. Each of those will have two cups. And I'm gonna make all four cups because I like a lot of cream. So I'm gonna start with cold beaters, cold bowl, cold cream. We're gonna start on low so it doesn't splash out until it gets a little bit thicker and then we can increase the speed. Now we are at about a good stiff peak right now. If you go past this point, sometimes your whipped cream will get a little grainy. At this point, I wanna add some powdered sugar. Now, I don't want this to be too sweet. Two to four tablespoons is a good general rule of thumb for each cup of heavy cream. Now, I have some vanilla bean paste I wanna use in this. So here's my half a cup of powdered sugar to four cups of heavy whipping cream. And I have about two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. If you don't have vanilla bean paste, feel free to just substitute with regular vanilla extract. And then we're gonna just gently whip that together. The reason I use powdered sugar, guys, instead of granulated sugar is I think powdered sugar actually helps stabilize it a little bit. It stays a little stiffer longer. Now, here we go, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> my dog. Oh, my dog is in the background humming. Okay, here are my little sunny peaches. Look at all the juice that's that's formed in there. That's going to be so good on that cake. So now I'm just going to combine the berries with the peaches. Isn't that pretty? That does make a really pretty combination. Now we'll just begin to fill. And then what I do is put some in the middle where the hole is too. Then we put that next layer. We use the two bottoms on top of one another, a bottom and a bottom. Then a top. Now I went out and plucked a few little, beautiful little leaves off of my Meyer lemon tree. I have a beautiful little dainty iceberg rose from my yard. I'm just gonna stick that in the very center. 
tuck in some pretty little leaves from my Meyer lemon tree. There you have it. A beautiful, delicate, light, summery birthday cake. Doesn't cost very much, takes very little time, don't have to heat up your oven. Voila! You can see all the little vanilla bean flakes in the frosting. It's just so light and airy and beautiful. There she is in all her glory, gang. Just a big old tower of deliciousness. Here's the end where I remind you how very much you are loved. And also, don't forget, see the good, be the good. And may God bless you and bless you this week.